one. Here's a quick video on how to change or actually uh, drain your fuel water separator on a uh, 6.4 power stroke diesel. Pretty similar on the 6.0 as well. Um, what you're first going to do is first you're going to get in the cab. I've already done it in this case, but you're going to get inside the cab, turn the key, let the fuel pump prime, take about 45 seconds. When you stop here in that wet, you know, the wine underneath the uh, driver door, you're set. I already did that, so I'm going to come over. And you're going to want to, oh, self-explanatory, let up the uh, gas cap. Next, we're going to go underneath the vehicle. If you look, driver's side door, going to go underneath. Now, this truck's lifted, so it's a little easier. Got plenty of room down in here. But in case you have a stock lift truck or maybe a two-wheel drive and uh, you're a little heavier dude, maybe you're a little, a little heftier man, you uh, might have to put it up on jack stands to get to it. But on a lifted truck, you're, uh, you're pretty well set. So what you're going to do is you're going to get underneath it. It's easier to go underneath on the ground. Crawl up under to where the frame's at. And you're going to see right there. That right there is what you're looking for. If you look, it's right underneath on this case. You look, it's right there by the trailing arm behind the front wheel. And of course, have a uh, drain pan to put it in, which uh, a lot of people probably don't care to even do that, but you know, you should technically. Um, all you're going to do now that you've got the system open and vented, flip this little switch. And then you get the magic. Um, you should do this once a month, basically. You can do it whenever uh, the truck's light comes on, but I personally do it once a month. This right here is only maybe three and a half, four weeks. And if you look, I've got a pretty good steady stream coming from it. So it'll, it'll get quite a bit, even with uh, pretty common drains. Once it stops draining and everything's, uh, everything's taken care of and it stops dripping, then just to go ahead and flip that little yellow switch back. As you can see right now, it's open. Just flip it back, seal up your gas tank, prime your truck. Uh, all you really have to do on these trucks, there's no pumping switch mechanism, no button to push, nothing like that. Just prime your truck, and uh, I've never had an issue after that. It starts right off. Alright, any questions, feel free to leave comments. Otherwise, good luck.